Um, my, my colleagues from France, uh, Ryan Zarchansky, have been emailing me because they've been struck by the um, by their, their clinical observation that while the patients are severely hypoxemic, their lung mechanics are not as severe as one would expect in in uh, in, in many cases of ARDS. And um, what has your been experience in, in mechanical ventilation and parameters in the people with ARDS? I'm a pathologist. I know. Uh, I'd yeah. like to show something on this subject. Well, uh, what you have uh, uh, heard from your friends or colleagues are probably similar to what we have found here. I totally agree with you that the patients of COVID-19 uh, in many, many aspects are very different from patients uh, with ARDS caused by other pathogens or other causes. Uh, for example, H1N1 influenza. They are totally different. Uh, well, in our COVID patients, uh, which are admitted to the ICU or intubated, uh, we observed that the hypoxemia happened gradually. Uh, at the very beginning, they may, might only have uh, mild symptoms of a short of breath. Uh, then later, they need oxygen, and they can go with nasal cannulation for several days, uh, then non-invasive ventilation for several days, then get it intubated. And at the very beginning of intubation, the, the, the conditions or the parameters of the ventilator is kind of acceptable. Uh, as you have mentioned, the plot 2 pressure is not that high, and uh, the compliance is acceptable. But, like, uh, but the problem here is uh, they do not recover very quickly. Uh, they, they, they're going to they're gonna exacerbate all the time, uh, maybe gradually, a little by little. But they do not recover, uh, not just like the, the patients we are familiar with, uh, with uh, H1N1 influenza ARDS, uh, which go to the peak stage very quickly and they recover kind of, kind of uh, sooner. But these patients, the hypoxemia goes uh, gradually and the recovery is very hard to see.